In real life, we often see circuits with resistors connected in parallel and in series. If you know the principles for calculation of resistance in such circuits, it will help you to choose the required rating, replace the malfunction resistor by available items, even if they possess rates other than required, and to calculate an equivalent circuit. Let's look at how to calculate total resistance for resistors connected in parallel and in series. Resistance of resistors connected in series is equal to the sum of resistances of individual resistors, R equal R1 plus R2. For example, if you take two resistors with a resistance of 10 kilo ohms each and connect them in series, the total resistance will be equal to 20 kilo ohms. Thus, we can see that in order to obtain larger resistance, we need to connect the resistors in series. Note that the current will be the same at all the points of the series circuit, whereas the voltage will be proportional to the resistance of the sub-circuit. If the resistors are connected in parallel, the reciprocal of the total resistance will be equal to the sum of reciprocals of resistances of the individual resistors. 1 divide R equals 1 divide R1 plus 1 divide R2. It follows that R equals R1 multiple R2 divide R1 plus R2. When the resistors are connected in parallel, the total resistance is always lower than the of the individual resistors. Say, by connecting two resistors in parallel with the resistance of 100 kilo ohms each, we'll obtain total resistance that would be two times lower, that is 50 kilo ohms. When the resistors are connected in parallel, the voltage on all of them in the, is the same, whereas the current is, sub is distributed along the parallel branches inversely to the resistance values. Using parallel and series connection, you will always be able to choose the rating that would be right for your circuit.